the collapse of the wave function has got to have something to do with gravity. Uh, so forget everything about a complicated quantum experiments. Just imagine you send a single photon through a beam splitter. So beam splitter does what the word says. It splits a beam. So the wave function of the photon has a 50% chance of just going through and a 50% chance of being... I'm going to stop you right there, Sabina. I'm a big fan of Sabina, but... The, the paradox he's setting up here is the mistake that everybody makes in quantum mechanics. You say you're going to send a single photon through a beam splitter and it's going to go either this way or that way. There's no such experiment and the simple reason is we don't have a pea shooter for photons. There's no little gun that can shoot a photon. It's going to go this way or that way on demand. You can... Take a laser and you can make it as weak as you want so that the beam is very weak and you can say there's only one photon at a time, but it's not the same as being able to shoot a single photon. If you could, you could set up an experiment where you have your beam splitter and you're shooting photons at it and, and every time you pull the trigger you get a click in this detector or that detector, never both. That proves that light is made of photons. Problem is, Experiment can't be done, never been done, will never been done, because we don't have a pea shooter for photons. And that's where all of these paradoxes, these mind-bending, blowing paradoxes of quantum mechanics, that's where they all go wrong.